Former EastEnders actress Gemma McCluskey, 29, was murdered by her brother Nicholas Razel. Anthony McCluskey spent years sticking by his son Tony after he murdered his sister Gemma back in 2012. Gemma's dismembered body was found in London's Regent's Canal five years ago, after Tony battered her to death before beheading her. After originally trying to build bridges with his Son, who was sentenced to life with a minimum of 20 years in 2013, Anthony has now told a TV documentary he has cut ties with the killer. In his first interview in years, Tony McCluskey, brother of former EastEnders actress Gemma McCluskey, was found guilty of her murder. Nicholas Razel, Anthony McCluskey, has disowned his son, Nicholas Razel. Tony claims to have no recollection of killing his 29 year old sister, who played Kerry Skinner in the BBC soap. His Father Anthony spoke out in an episode of Crimes That Shook Britain, saying, I said right at the start I would stand by him and I really did mean that because I was going to lose two children, not one. I said, he's my flesh and blood, I've got to stand by him. But the murderer's lack of remorse over the killing drove his father to disown him, after Tony sent him a series of letters from High Down Prison in Surrey, Gemma's dismembered body was found in London's Regent's Canal five years ago. Nicholas Razel Anthony explained of the letters he's not showing no remorse, not an ounce of remorse. He doesn't mention her name. I'm trying to support and look after him, but he's not showing no remorse, and that was it. In the end I went I've had enough, Tony. On that last visit I said, I've had enough of you. I said, I'm gone, I'm out of your life now. Don't get me wrong, I still do think about him. But I haven't had no contact with him now for over two years. And I won't contact him again. Tony McCluskey second left and brother Danny McCluskey Nicholas. Razel he added, I've lost two children, haven't I? I've lost Gemma, the love of my life, and my eldest son, Tony, my firstborn. I miss my Gemma, I really do. It breaks my heart. That poor girl's laid in a grave, 29 years old and dead. What a waste of a life. What a waste. A good person, she was. And an evil person's killed her. Crimes That Shook Britain airs at 10pm tonight on the Crime Investigation Channel.